The Fox. Now, if you have watched the episode Renard the Fox, then this story is continuation of that story. If you haven't, the link is posted here or you can find it in the description box. And here goes the story. The fox hurried as he threw out all the fish from the fisherman's cart. And then he himself jumped out. He dashed to gather all the fish and he went a one a fish, a two a fish, a three a fish, four a five a fish, a six a fish, seven fish more. Have you seen a fox just like me who catches fishes without even fishing? He was so happy about what he did. And out there somewhere, a bear was out on his walk. Hmm. Hmm. Now the bear loved two things and he could smell it even if it was a mile afar. That was honey and fish. And what did he smell? Fish so far away from the river. And then he saw the fox coming. Oh brother, where did you get all these fish from? Now the fox wasn't going to tell the truth that he stole. So he bragged. Oh Lord Bruin, I went fishing and I caught them. Oh, I too would love to learn how to fish. That would be mighty easy for you. You just need to go to the river, cut a hole in the ice, put your long tail into it and you wait. If you wait a little longer, the fishes would think of it as bait and they will come and catch it. And if you are ready to freeze your tail a little and wait, more would come. And then you wait a little longer and a little longer and then you pull your tail sideways and you have your catch of fish. The bear loved the idea and he rushed to the frozen river and he cut a hole in the ice and he put his long tail into it and after a while his tail froze cold frozen just like ice and he waited and he waited and then he pulled it sideways and while he pulled quick his tail broke off and he was left with a stumpy tail. From that day on till this day, a bear has a stump tail. And that's how bears got their stumpy tail. This brings us to the end of our story. But do you think Renard the fox kept on tricking everyone? Or was he tricked by someone? So wait next week for that story. Bye-bye for now.